Hey YouTube Magnificent here. Today we're going to go ahead and do this. I've already replaced the side mirror with the new style arrow. In addition to replacing the side mirror, we're going to actually install what we call a ghost light that's going to illuminate when the courtesy light comes up. Now it's light right now, you can't see it, but the courtesy light will come on when that comes on. In addition, the ghost light will project an image on the floor that will say Mercedes. So we make the streams louder. The uh, arrow like side mirror. Uh, of course, it comes with the arrows and all the things are inside. So here is the courtesy light right here. And you're going to have to wire that to the courtesy light that goes on up right here <laughs> you see it right there and of course the uh, side mirrors the turn signals that came originally with this I've already connected it here it comes with a harness you just simply splice it and I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna connect the uh, courtesy light that's going here with that and the courtesy light that will be going on here will be connected the same. So that's what we got I playing. found out from experience that it's important when you install LEDs in vehicles that aren't used to LEDs, this is the O1, to put in some load resistors. Now, I used to do use the big fat load resistors, but in small compartments like this, I'm actually gonna be installing the um, these little small mini resistors just so it can fit. So for you, since I don't have a second person to film this, we're gonna take out a little piece right here pop that off All right so you can separate the arm I'm gonna need to get in here where the courtesy light is I'm also gonna take this sorry this this and this and there is another one I, I don't even know where it is <laughs> I forgot anyway it's in here somewhere uh, I'll take that out so I can remove this because I'm gonna need a wire through here so that that courtesy light can come through. It seems like a lot of work, but if you look at the other side, oh, it was so well worth it. So I'm gonna take that off. In addition to the door panel, of course, you gotta take this off. There's a little piece, if you wanna take the whole door panel off, that's right here. It's, it's kinda like, clip, clip that off, pop this thing off here. Phillips screwdriver, uh, sorry, Phillips uh, nut, it's not a nut, uh, screw that you have to take out there. Anyway, so I'm gonna remove, once you've got these off, you pop it off, and the truth is it's pretty easy from there. Um, just be patient and take your time. All right, here's this piece I was telling you about. It goes in like so. You literally just get a, a little putty knife or something like that, screwdriver or something that isn't abrasive so you don't scratch up your vehicle and you take it out. And then this piece, you just kinda pull out and bam, comes off. And I was telling you earlier that there was a piece that you have to watch out for, or a bolt, another screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and that's right there. So let me get that off of work. A little hex nut, T20 hex nut that I was telling you about. Right here. One, two, three, and four. Phillips screw that you need to get out. Again, one, and that happens when you take off this piece. So, one here, one in here, and one in here. A little screw on the door seal. Next, just start popping the clips off. And then next, you lift up past this thing, my Bob. Let's see. Ah, you have to use two hands on this, I think. Yeah, because it's really in there, in that rubber there. Take the door off. It's good to have something that can maybe support the door while you remove the rest. So, lift up. And we're going to remove this little lock here. I'm going to take it off the bracket. Pull. So you want to do this. Here's, here's key. Pull out and then push up. And then pull up like so, it's released, 
I appreciate the newer models of Mercedes because all that work just to be able to do this. All that work, just so I can be able to get in to this area where it has access to the side mirror. <sighs> I gotta get access to three uh, T20 hex screws. So you have a couple of options. Some people you can fold in your mirrors, but easy way, just whatever, whatever state it's in, you just gotta be firm a little bit, pop it open, and one of those. Now, if you don't have this tool, this is awesome. Go to O'Reilly's and just get this little mini hex set. It has like T10 to, I don't know what it has, but it really saved your life when it comes to getting a lot of this done. So, ratchet makes it much easier. I'm just gonna take it off. You might leave one on. Actually, no, I took them all off. Now, you can't really use this to get in there is just too tight. So go to Harbor Freight and grab a set of these. They're like seven bucks. Trust me, night and day difference. So you simply just thread it through the hole. Well, let me see if you can see that. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Thread it through. And just start. All right, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna be tricky, but you really don't need much room. It's in there, you gotta really thread it through like so, but you just gotta push back a little bit. You don't wanna jerk like I just did. You just wanna gradual movement. Oh, it's loose now, so. This makes it a little harder to do when it's loose. There we go. That should give me the space I need. See, I got a perfect view of it. See that? So I'll go through. Just loosen. I'll do that and be right back. I just gotta actually separate this piece. So I'll, this is the courtesy light here. Just separate it because I don't really need it in order to do what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna toss that over there. And I'm just simply going to route this wire so that when I'm ready, it's ready for me. So let's see if we can work this. The goal is gonna be to route it through. Now last time, routed it pretty easily. Here's where you gotta be brave. No matter what you do, what route direction you choose, you're gonna have to drill through. You can, you know, not drill through, but I'm finding with the headlight, I mean, with the side mirrors moving, you run the danger of crimping your wires in time, and there are certain jobs, once you do it, you don't wanna go back and do stuff again. So just do it right, a little bit more work, but better to, again, do it right the first time instead of having to go back. So I'm actually going to drill like I did on the other side, just a hole through here. It's gonna be through the metal as well. Don't worry, you won't let water through because after you're done, I'm gonna actually get a hot glue gun and seal it because it serves as a sealant just as well and of course protects the wire. And I'm also gonna put some Tessa tape, um, which I'll show you what that is. Just makes it a little easier. Just in case those wires are just so small, I don't want them crimped. Here's my drilled hole. Real, real simple. Now, I'm gonna route her through. Now the question is, how do I want to route it? Um, so last time I did it, I went through here. And I'm gonna go straight through, like you see. All right, here is Tessa tape. It's a little different than electrical tape in that it's tougher. I use electrical tape too, but in this situation, I want to make sure that if it's pressing against anything or if there's these cords being pressed, at least it, you got Tessa tape that's giving it some kind of uh, protection. I got it right where I want, right here. I'm just gonna connect this to the courtesy light. I'm actually gonna put these uh, little bolts back. It's easy if you put the top in through here and then go ahead and do the bottom. And then once those are secure, you can go ahead and go down there and get the third one. I just drilled a hole in here. I'm ready, simply gonna wrap this wire right through. Just again, ease. I hate things crimping up. And that wire is going to come out right okay, here. So here's the final product. Worked well, looks good. Modernizes the look. 
gives it a facelift. And uh, all I did, I routed the wire to the courtesy light and put everything back. Just connect the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and you're good to go. The uh, ghost light, simple, same thing. It just literally replaced the courtesy light. Well, didn't replace exactly. You could replace it that, but I went ahead and just uh, drilled in a hole and I put a new courtesy light there. Now, unfortunately, it wasn't as pretty as I liked, but uh, it worked out just well. There are options where you can just replace that courtesy light there, um, but the images that they had, I didn't like it. The only image that this offered required you to drill a hole, so I went ahead and did that. So either way is fine, but it uh, worked out. So I thought it was great. It was a little bit of work, but worth it. You gotta drive around with it. Might as well do it the way you like it. So guys, that's it. If you thought it was uh, helpful, interesting, like, comment, subscribe. Magnificent, signing out.